we're doing our very first Zoom virtual design presentation. How are you doing at home with four little ones? We're hanging in there. <laughs> staying busy? Staying, uh, yeah, staying busy. Same, definitely busy with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Things like this keep me um, excited and presentable. <laughs> I guess the first thing we'll do is we can, we'll share on screen our room plan. Okay. So here's our room plan. It's being shared now. And then we'll talk about all the different pieces that, that we selected. And a lot of this we actually did before we all got locked in our houses. Um, I am sheltering in place in my showroom, which is nice because I can try out a different couch every hour. <laughs> but this hour we are on the Sullivan which is the couch that you and Ryan really liked so trying to achieve this look but in in a durable fabric that would be appropriate for a house of now four children when we started picking this out I believe there were only three yes yes and we fell in love with your whole farmhouse I mean I think that whole area of your store we're like can you just recreate this and i've always wanted a white couch but i've been scared to have that with kids so you're convincing me with this <laughs> magic fabric that we're picking out that this is gonna be possible it is it is magic fabric here is the fabric if you remember it not only is it incredibly durable like it's made out of the most durable fabric um components that you can have but it also has um, a five-year warranty on it in terms of like, if it doesn't behave the way that it's supposed to behave, uh, they warranty the fabric for five years. And I like warranties, especially yeah. with kids. <laughs> yeah. So this gives us the dream of the white sofa with the actual realistic living environment with four kids. This is the trick, this, this'll get it done. So my kids are going to be the be the little guinea pigs for this fabric. This is our Murph swivel chair, which at the time when we picked it out, we, it was just brand new. And we've kind of gone back and forth on this, whether or not we wanted to do it in this darling buffalo print, or if we wanted to rely on our buffalo print in like a smaller, in a pillow or something like that, something not so committal to the trend that is buffalo print. Yes, and I love the trend currently. Um, but I'm also very conservative, um, especially in furniture design. So we, I think we came up with a happy medium. Yeah, I think so. And again, this is another one of our performance fabrics. So this has kind of a pretty herringbone type feel to it. Um, it's got a little bit of like a herringbone tweed. It's 100% polypropylene and it is a revolution fabric. So it has a three-year warranty on it in terms of like, if it doesn't behave the way it's supposed to behave, which is fill proof. This wasn't the goat proof fabric. Yeah, this the couch is the fabric or this one. Goats, yeah. Because <laughs> who doesn't do yoga with goats in their living room? So we decided to do the swivel chair. This chair does come as a stationary, but also comes as a swivel. And we went with the swivel because you guys have beautiful, big open, um, like floor to ceiling sliding doors. So we want to be able to utilize the view there and swivel around and look outside. We do a lot of swivel chairs and I encourage them in any room they can go in where you can swivel around and look at a beautiful view. The other big piece of furniture is our recliner in this fabric, which I actually just went and grabbed the cushion. <laughs> um, but you can see how pretty all of this is together. It's, very, it's a very neutral palette. But then when we start punching it up with some, some pattern, which you like the buffalo, so we're gonna do those as pillows. And then we also like what's called mud cloth. Um, it's kind of, a, again, it's a fun, trendy little print. And I do like to stick to my trend in things that are removable. So it's, I call it non-committal. So I'm just, I'm getting a couple of pillows <laughs> now, but when I'm sick of it, I can get a new pillow cover. And what I loved about working with you is the cohesiveness of it all. Um, you were able to like catch the vision. You were able to see like the style I wanted, but also the fact that I wanted something very durable and long lasting and not too trendy with 
everything. So I felt you did a good job bringing all that together of what the vision was for the room. Oh, good. Thank you. Well, and then I, you, you were kind of, we've been tossing around different colors to punch it up. And one of the colors that you have said you really like is this mustard color. Yes. Um, music to my ears, because I love this color. And this, this was, this is just an example of the color. Um, but we were able to find a cool vintage dresser to use as a sideboard. I don't know if that's something that yeah, you're still yeah. thinking about. Um, but we can put that on screen here too. And I think that'll be a fun color to just punch up everything that's going on here. Yeah, and that's what I love is we, again, I, I, my taste might be sort of um, traditional or maybe boring, but you're doing, I, I like that you help bring um, the colors and the accents all in to add some dimension. So I would probably just stay all neutral all the way through. <laughs> And you did a good job mixing all the patterns and colors as well. Oh, good, good, good. Well, and I think it's fun to mix in vintage because it gives the room a little sense of history. It's not just like I opened a catalog and I go, oh, I'll take that. Um, I really like a room to look collected versus cataloged, you know, because a catalog, it just, it lacks that sense of history and that sense of depth. So when you have more of a collected room, which takes longer, it's, it's hard to do collected like right off the bat. It takes a while to acquire all those pieces. Um, but when you start mixing in vintage pieces, it just, it, the room takes on a whole different look and it's just so much more interesting in terms of the look of the room, but also the feel of the room has a cozier, homier feel. Right, and you were helping me with that as well. We were able to find that uh, drafting table from Boulevard Mercantile. So we're able to oh, yeah. find some of these local businesses in town that we are able to um, bring in some of those vintage pieces. Um, and so that's been fun getting to work with some of these other businesses in town. And again, I think that's another area that you add so much value um, versus um, putting all these connections together and pieces together to make it a uniformed room versus just one piece of furniture. Um, you're able to see like, I, I think we're coming up on the rugs and that lighting, the uh, big farmhouse chandelier. You're able to see the whole room and the vision of the room where I, that's not how my mind works. So that's why I loved with working with you was being able to see how that whole, how you pulled everything together. This was my very first design Zoom call. So first virtual consultation, which is a whole different world for a designer. Um, but it's been really fun. And I appreciate you guys, you and Ryan, like really going out of your way to support local businesses through your whole journey um, with building your Fowler farmhouse and how fun it's been to participate with you. I really appreciate the opportunity. And through this COVID stuff, we're, we're really pushing the boundaries and learning new things. <laughs> we are and uh, we've already always been a lot more um, oh, at least for me um, with the kids at home I've always been more onto social media and doing um, a little bit more stuff that's not in person I think our whole relationship developed over like Instagram chat until yeah. I got the chance to finally come down there with a kid in tow I do think this whole I hopefully this is all over in a month, but it's made us all adapt and learn different things. And I think it's been important to um, support our local businesses. It's been amazing how much you offer there um, that I didn't know I needed or that you helped me see in that room. So I'm excited to see what you guys um, are going to do moving forward through whether it's COVID or whether it's through just what this next year is going to look like. So I think it's going to change how, how we do business. Um, I, I think you offer a lot and a lot to this community. So I appreciate it. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed our very first virtual design appointment. And if you would like to book an appointment with one of our designers, um, they're all working from home. Um, and we would love to help you do a floor plan or a room plan or just like help you dream right now, especially when you're at home, you can just be like, hey, here's my living room. I'm sitting in it right now. So anyway, we're here to help you dream and we look forward to opening our doors back up and welcoming everyone back in.